Hi guys, this is your sister Karen in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a very, very, very powerful revelation that the Lord has imparted to me today. Really, today, today is the, I think so, yeah. I'm sorry, I think today is the 26th, either 26th or the 25th today. Forgive me if I don't get the date properly. But 25th or the 26th of March 2021, early this morning, the Lord really spoke to my heart. Now, before going further, you know the drill scammers comment section putting on my face begging for money it's not me all my details is in the description box if you need to contact me for anything or bless me just go to the description box you will see all my details okay now this video yes it is about the three days of darkness and i'm gonna get into the word in a bit but i just want to say something brothers and sisters i make no apologies like yeah I make absolutely no apologies for coming on YouTube whenever thus saith the Lord and give the vision, if it's a vision or a dream or revelation concerning the three days of darkness. I used to be not fearful, but timid. Is timid the word? Maybe, maybe timid would be the word. In 2019, when the Lord really began to show me about the three days of darkness, because it was like every minute the Lord would give me a vision. And I have, you know, when I started to post about the three days of darkness, a lot of people, a lot of people in 2019, brothers and sisters, I created an ant's nest in 2019 on YouTube. It went wild with the three days of darkness because people are thinking, where is this woman coming from? And so because of the backlash, you know, 2019, every time the Lord gave me a vision about it, I just have to brave up, put on courage and boldness and come in front of the camera and say, thus saith the Lord. Now it's like throwing water on a duck's back. I make no apologies. Absolutely none whatsoever concerning the three days of darkness because this event is going to happen. All right, let me get into the word, brothers and sisters. So this morning the most high yah spoke to me and i've read the scripture over and over and i've you know comment on it on uh, made i even made videos about it it is amos chapter 8 verses uh, particularly verses verse particularly verse 9 verse 10 rather particularly verse 10 now, when I did videos in verse 10, I always talk about feast with an S on it, which means that it's more than one day. Okay. Um, he said, I will turn your feast with an S into mourning. So that tells me that this is a pagan feast day that we celebrate, which is Wicked Easter. Because we know that from the visions that I've got, that the three days of darkness will happen around that time okay but here is what the lord said to me to warn the people because many do not understand that the effect of the gross darkness i think people just think all right yeah three days of dark those who some who believe yeah three days of darkness the place gets dark we sit in darkness and wait it out this morning brothers and sisters the lord said to me warn my people and show them in scripture the plague that I will send in the darkness. Brothers and sisters, this, this darkness is not a darkness where you just sit and twirl, you know, twirl your fingers, twirl your hair and chew and chewing gum. It's nothing like that. This darkness that is coming, this is what the Lord said is going to come in the darkness. This is what's going to happen to you in the dark, to, you know, to the wicked really in the darkness and like i said i've read it many times but the lord just decided to give me the revelation so it's amos 8 verses 9 it says verses 10 rather sorry it says and i will turn your feast with an s this is more than one day into morning so right off the back right off the back brothers and sisters the Lord is telling you exactly what he's going to do. Mourning. What is mourning? Have you ever been in mourning before, brothers and sisters? I have. 
I've been in mourning, you know, proper mourning when my father passed away. It wasn't, you know, we know that he's in glory. Hallelujah. But to lose a loved one. Yes, brothers and sisters, it is not easy. So that is the first plague that will hit the world is mourning. That's the first thing everybody's going to do. They're going to start to mourn. They're going to start to cry. Because I don't think people can... I don't think even, even myself, I'm talking about the three days of darkness. And I know that the three days of darkness is going to happen. But I cannot comprehend that day at noon when the whole entire sky goes pitch black. It's going to be a frightful sight. I am telling you, brothers and sisters. So the first thing that's going to hit the world, that's going to hit the, the, the human race is mourning. Oh, Lord, what's happening? Oh, Jesus, please, what's this going? What's going on? Because please, some people just not going to know. This is going to see the sky really, really black, pitch black. No moon, no stars, nothing. It's not like when you have an um, eclipse with an eclipse you can still see the out uh, the, the the outline either of the sun if it's a sun eclipse or an, the outline if it's a moon eclipse and you can see stars and some people can hear birds chirping this is nothing like that <laughs> prepare yourself brothers and sisters. i will do another video closer to the to east time but anyways so the first thing that the lord said warn my people because mourning is going to hit the human race. And it shall come to pass. Sorry. And I will turn your feast days into mourning. Watch this. And all your songs. Mighty God. We love you Lord. Father of creation. And, and, and all your songs into lamentation. Hold on. All your songs into lamentation this means when i gather this in my spirit a lot of people if the well the lockdown in the uk is gonna open up soon people can go about the business i don't know concerning the churches but for those who go to church or have online church or whatever. If you're celebrating pagan Easter. Because that's what it is. It is wicked. It is pagan. And do not follow anybody who tells you to, to celebrate Easter and Christmas. They are wicked themselves. Okay. So. We know. I know. What goes on in the churches at Easter. Because I used to be a part of it. Yeah. Massive celebration celebrate jesus celebrate you know and all those things and so they are celebrating the risen savior they are celebrating the death the burial and the resurrection of our lord and savior jesus christ but hang on they're celebrating it on a wrong day on a pagan feast day so the most high yeah because easter has nothing to do with yeah nothing zero Z he hates it i can tell you the lord hates easter he hates christmas he hates all these pagan things and so therefore because he said that it is our feast day you notice the bible says i will turn your feast day this is yes speaking this is god speaking i will turn your feast day notice the lord didn't say his feast day <laughs> language of the bible your feast day into morning and this is why when i had the vision the latest vision i saw myself in the church and the people were celebrating. And I said to you, brothers and sisters, when I were given the vision, that it felt Eastery. This is when the woman tell me that the darkness is going to fall at 1030. I'll, put, I'll link those visions if you haven't seen it. So the first thing that's going to happen is war, crying, mourning, bawling, weeping, sadness. That's the first thing that's going to hit the earth when the darkness is coming. And throughout the, th throughout the three days of darkness. But equally, 
you ain't gonna have time to sing come on now church listen to listen to what the lord is saying yah is saying that when the darkness falls you ain't gonna have time to be singing all them songs because you're gonna be engulfed in or engulfed into mourning because that's what he is gonna do it's god that's gonna do that himself these are the plagues Everything that I'm outlining to you, the Lord said, tell them that the plague, I will send the plagues in the darkness. And I, have, and I have not even touched on the demonic forces outside in the darkness. But I'm going by scripture, the plague that the Lord is going to send. So we, we have outlined mourning is going to happen. I suggest that if you do not know what the word mourning means, go and Google it. Go and Google the word mourning so you get an in-depth. Uh, def definition of the word mourning because it's not something to be taken lightly okay so that's the first one yes we say that the Lord is going to turn <laughs> and all your songs into lamentation <laughs> yeah when you're up there celebrating your pagan Easter right when this darkness is coming you, you you won't even have time to be singing all them godly songs to the Lord because you're going to be engulfed in mourning and lamentation. This is a plague. So here we have outlined from the Most High Yah two plagues already. Mourning and lamentation. Brothers and sisters, when you mix those two together, this is like a, a wicked burden upon you. You feel like, probably feel like you want to die. This is a serious judgment that is coming. And I'm so sorry. May God have mercy on those people who come against the three days of darkness and tell everybody, oh, it ain't gonna happen. It's not real. They're making it up. It's from the Catholics. It's up. May Yah have mercy on you because, yeah, your judgment is coming. Okay. So, so, so far, brothers and sisters, we have two plagues mourning and lamentation lamentation is when you're weep it's similar to mourning so th the lord god of heaven father of creation is stressing in amos 8 verse 10 how people are going to feel in the three days of darkness he is stressing it mourning lamentation let's move on watch this watch this and i will bring upon sackcloth upon all loins so <laughs> father god i'm telling you i pray that my heart is in the right place i know that i give the three days of darkness visions from 2019 but i'm only human and um sorry for hearing noise in the background brothers and sisters my children playing it's late at night um but <laughs> i know because i don't think people understand what's going to happen to them the lord is saying Mourning is coming. Lamentation is coming. Watch this. The third plague that's coming, I will bring up sackcloth upon the loins. Brothers and sisters, have you ever been in a situation where something horrible, catastrophic happened that you just feel so weak? That's what the Lord is talking about. Your, your knees are just weak. I know that when the news came in that my dad passed away. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was on the floor. I don't even know how I got on the floor, brothers and sisters. Like, I must have passed. I don't know what happened. But I was literally on the floor because I was so weak. And this is just my dad passing. Can you imagine the three days of darkness when this darkness hit the earth? That people are going to feel... Brothers and sisters, this, this darkness, people have to take it serious. It can kill you. It can give you a heart attack. This is how serious this thing is. So the plagues that the Lord is going to send. Number one, with our light, I have to go over it so people get it. Mourning. Lamentation. Um suck cloth upon your loin weakness you just feel weak brothers and sisters. you don't know what to do with yourself 
That's the third thing. And boldness upon every head. Boldness upon every head. Brothers, you don't even you gonna know you won't know if you're coming or going when this darkness falls. You won't even know if you're coming and going. Okay? Watch this. And I will. And you see, and I will make it as the morning of an only son. Brothers and sisters, the most high Yah is letting us know and is describing to us all the physical and emotional state that we are going to be in. I said we because... I, no, I shouldn't say we. I should say some, actually. Because those of us who are in Christ, we won't go through this. You're safe. Safe in his arms. You're safe, okay? So this really, don't worry too much. For those of you who are living right in Yah, you will be Isaiah chapter 60. Go and read that. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 is for you. That's living holy and righteous when the darkness falls. This one, verse 10, is not for you. This is for the wicked and, the, and those who are playing church, the lukewarmers, okay? So watch this. So now we say that mourning is one of the plague. Lamentation is one of the plagues. Weakness is one of the plagues. Baldness on your head, you know, is one of the plagues. And I will make it as the morning of an only begotten son. Brothers and sisters, for those of you beautiful saints or, you know, anybody, sinners, for those of you who have lost a loved one, children, mother, father, you've lost them, some, someone that you've loved dearly and you've lost them. You know that feeling. You know that. For you to get that comfort, it takes time. So the Most High Yah is saying, when this darkness fall, it's going to be a feeling of lost. If you're not strong, some people will have stroke and heart attack in this darkness. I am telling you, brothers and sisters, because it's, gonna, it's, a, it's a judgment. It's a judgment. Ju it's a judgment plague that is coming and the end thereof as a bitter day the end of it is going to be a bitter day so when the three days of darkness is over and if you survive it those who survive it and they come out of it you're going to know those emotions that you felt it's going to be bitter in your mouth because you're going to know that your heart was not right with Christ. That you did not give Christ, the Messiah, the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the time of day. You did the business with him. You did your own thing. And now his judgment has caught you because of the position and the condition of your heart. So at the end of the three days of darkness, when you come out of it, it's going to be like a bitter day for you. Because you're going to reminisce on how you felt, what you've done to the Lord. And out of it, some people will get saved because the, the day is going to be so bitter for them. They don't want to, <laughs> they're going to be so scared. They don't want to have those emotions again. So some people will give their hearts to the Lord. Some people will begin to walk with Yah, you know, the way that they should and straighten out their lives. So brothers and sisters, when the Lord imparted this, um, this revelation to me and said, warn the people of the plagues that is going to come in the darkness. Read Amos chapter 8 verse 10. All the plagues are listed. Now, let me quickly touch on the plague in the dark, in the actual darkness outside. Because some people say, oh, Sister Carrie Ann, we're in the Bible. <laughs> you know, people always say that in the comment section. Oh, so Zacharian, where in the Bible? <clears throat> they said, where in the Bible does the Lord say that demons is going to walk in the darkness? 
it does, the Bible does say it. Say it. If you turn to, okay, Psalms 91. Sa Psalms 91, okay? Watch this. Because Psalms 91 is a prophetic Psalms. Of course, demons walk in darkness. Now, now brothers and sisters, this is just common sense. This is just common sense. When it's nighttime and it's pitch black outside, right we know a sense of god that the enemy operates in darkness anyway whether it's the three days of darkness or not that is when the time when they come out because they know that nobody can see them demons some people call them ghosts you know um whatever they comes out in the that comes out you know one o'clock at night anytime it gets dark that you cannot see them don't only those who can sense the presence and can have the gift of seeing them, can see these spiritual, wicked spiritual being walking up and down. And this is just normal day, every day. So can you imagine when this gross darkness falls, you're telling me all of a sudden all these demons are just going to, well, go sit down? No, they're going to love it because this is their, this is their abode gross wicked evil darkness this is where the, this is their abode so this is the reason why we're saying to you brothers and sisters the demonics those who are those those who are possessed with demons and the fallen angels they can handle the darkness because like i say it is their territory it's their thing the darkness is their thing I'm going to go into the scripture, but Wicked Hollywood, I'm going to pin that video actually, I'm going to pin it, but Wicked Hollywood made a, a movie in 2000 and, oh, when, when did it come out? I can't remember, 20? No, 20, 2020 or 2019, anyways, everybody knows about it, it's called The Bird Box. The bird box really is a depiction of what is to come, of the three days of darkness. Who could handle what was going outside? Yeah, only the demonics. <laughs> only them. Only them, brothers and sisters, could handle what was going outside. Normal human beings like you and me who love, you know, love the Lord and what of, what of you. It's not for us. And just because you've got the Holy Spirit inside of you, you're going to brave up and go outside. You, you do not do that. You hide. The Bible said, hide yourself, my people, into your chambers until the indignation of the Lord be overpassed. This is found in Isaiah 26 verse 20 or, it's verse, or Isaiah 20 verse 26, one out of the two. So the Lord is telling you to hide. Don't be big and bold and all righteous and open up your door and say you're going to go out there to rebuke. Don't do that. Okay? You'll lose your life. Because this thing will eat you. So the, the, in, in the darkness, brothers and sisters, okay, in the darkness, one of the plagues, okay, one of the many plagues that's going to be in the darkness is the demonics watch this this is what david calls them this is psalms 91 and verse 3 where is it it's, no it's not verse 3 um okay it's not verse 3 over there okay thank you lord thank you found it so psalms 91 verse 6 not verse 3 psalms 91 and verse 6 oh my bible is so heavy Ooh. My hands is, is hurting. Okay. So Psalms 91, Psalms 91 and verse 6. Watch this. This is this is what this is what David says concerning the darkness. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Okay. Pestilence, if you don't know what pestilence is, this is not sickness. But no sickness, or is, or is a flu going to walk up and down? No. What David is talking about is the fallen angels, the demonics, and the wicked creatures. These are called pestilence. 
This is how the, 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 the word of Yah, this is how the Bible describes these things. They are called pestilence. And, and the Bible says that um, when he's talking, you know, you mustn't be afraid. Basically, that's what David is saying. Don't be afraid of the pestilence that walketh in darkness. So, brothers and sisters, this is the reason why the watchmen and the watchwomen on the wall for the Lord, we are warning, when the darkness fall, do not go outside. Because the demonics are going to be in it. They're pestilence. Fallen angels are going to be in it. Creatures. You're going to hear some sounds. Brothers, you're going to think you're in a movie. You're going to think that you're in. You're literally, you're going to think. This is, oh, thank you, Lord. This is the reason why he says he's going to send mourning, lamentation, weakness, mourning as if you've lost your child because of the stuff that's going on out both outside and what you are literally feeling in the darkness this is a darkness that can be felt brothers and sisters you know they call me the you know when the witches and the warlocks do videos about me concerning the three days of darkness oh it's ah oh, that false prophet sister Carrion, always talking about the three days her three days of darkness that's what they said it's my three days of darkness it's not my three days of darkness, but I have a mission to warn the world about the three days of darkness. It is coming. This thing is coming, brothers and sisters. I'm going to do one last video before Easter. You know, pagan Easter, God's willing. I'm going to do one more video, all right, just to get people prepared or whatever. We don't know the year. But we know it's going to be around pagan Easter time. It 100% will be. Because I thought it was Christmas. I always say in other videos, previous videos, I said, oh, it could be Easter or Christmas. Because the Bible talks about feast days. And two major feast days are Easter and Christmas. But it's not Christmas. It's wicked pagan Easter. That, that this, yeah. This could be, we don't know when. All right, we don't know when, but we'll have to prepare ourselves. So that answered this question for a lot of people who come on the comment section and said, oh, the Bible didn't say demons are going to walk in darkness. Yes, it does. In darkness. You can say, oh, well, King David didn't say the three days of darkness. It doesn't matter. It is still darkness. It is still darkness. So whenever it's nightfall outside, you've got your demonics, you've got your demons, you've got your fallen ones, What you just can't see them with your natural eye because the veil is still up. But when that veil is pulled down, <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. When that veil, when that veil is pulled down, brothers and sisters, where literally there's no protection between our realm, and the realm of the spirit. I've got a powerful vision I'm going to give. A very powerful vision. I'll do that video soon. But brothers and sisters. I have to warn. I make no apologies. Like if the Lord give you another vision tonight. Or a dream or revelation concerning the three days of darkness. Yeah I'll be coming on YouTube. And saying thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. These plagues will be coming in the darkness. Read Amos 8 verse 10. Those are the various plagues that's coming. Plus outside, the demonics, the demons, the, 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 the well, aliens or whatever they call them. Fallen angels. They're going to be there in the darkness. But I want it to come. I know this video is a little bit long, but it is worth it. It is worth it, brothers and sisters. So I want it to come and just give this uh, revelation that literally the Lord imparted in my heart today. Like I said, I've read Amos 8 verse 10 many times from 2019. I've been reading and he has never imparted this to me. 
but today 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 the lord imparted it and said go and warn the people and tell them what is going to come in the darkness this is a very serious judgment really really is very 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 serious people are going to die in this thing they're going to die brothers and sisters unfortunately but what can you do you know it is what it is you know it's, it's the judgment of yeah you cannot stop it. You cannot pray it away. You cannot brush it underneath the carpet. You've got to face it. They either come to realize that the darkness is coming or you're still in denial. And when the darkness falls, you're not prepared. And you're going to be more, no, I was watching Sister Karen's video and I didn't believe, I didn't believe. Warnings have been given, brothers and sisters. But you choose not to believe. You choose to follow the false prophets. This, you know, how I feel about this thing, I'm almost finished. How I feel about this thing, let me tell you how I feel about the darkness, and the, this prophecy darkness. It's the same feeling that I got when the Most High Yah gave me the prophecy that Joe Biden will win the 2020 election. And when I came and I said, thus said the Lord, Biden is going to win, and all the Trump supporters came, ah, the false prophet. You don't know what you're saying. You're of Satan. That's what they were calling me. They said, I'm of Satan. They said, you're of the devil. You're of Satan. Every single prophet in the world are saying Trump is going to win. And the Lord said, hold your counsel. He said, hold your peace. He said, watch and see what I will do. This is how it feels with the three days of darkness. I know that this thing is coming. This is coming, brothers and sisters. Prepare yourselves. Be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to Mosai Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon. Someday in glory, in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.